Hi student, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about paper uh, 42, 2021, 20, March IGCSE paper. Okay, this is variation 42. So let's dive in. This is question number one. Figure 1.1 is a diagram passed off the elementary kernel associated with organ. So this X and Y. So obviously X is liver and stomach. Label X. So I think this one is quite straightforward. The answer is liver okay now I just have to take my red pen liver and just let me get one mark state two function of hyaluronic acid in the stomach so one of these is to kill bacteria and one more is to provide acidic pH for the enzyme break food molecule and split up the molecule Okay, so the second one will be provide acidic pH for the enzyme. So you get one mark, one mark, so you get two mark, but this student only get this one one mark. Of course, this one is also correct. Break fruit molecule and split up the molecule or help in digestion. This is also correct, but um, it's not in the marking scheme. The marking scheme is stated that it provides an acidic pH for the enzyme. So I just uh, follow the marking scheme lah, huh? so what to do so the student just get one mark even though the the answer is correct name the two type of digestion that occur in the elementary kernel so what does it mean by elementary kernel it means the place for digestion yes from where from the path of the food entering our mouth and when the food expelled from our um, anus so the is the whole set lah everything lah the whole digestion system is called elementary kernel state two type of digestion that is found in elementary kernel so one is a chemical digestion where we are talking about saliva or the enzyme that is in our stomach and another is mechanical digestion where we are talking about our mouth where we are actually breaking the food in terms of physical part okay plant use photosynthesis to produce glucose of course you, we know plant actually produce starch but uh, before producing starch they, 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 they need to make it to glucose first then they through some process only it will become the starch as the energy that is stored by the plant complete the word equation for the photosynthesis so you get oxygen plus water hey, sir. okay carbon dioxide plus water you get glucose plus oxygen oh my gosh <laughs> i can't believe you lost too much for this question wasted not concentrating glucose is converted to a different carbohydrate for storage yes we store in terms of starch this mean a leaf can be tested with iodine solution iodine solution to test whether photosynthesis take place so iodine is to test starch lah, huh? this one you need to remember okay you found if it turns to uh, blue black okay to test starch and myelon solution is to test protein benedict is to test glucose um, fat emulsion test is to test uh, fats so this is how we can test explain why iodine solution can be used to show photosynthesis take place so basically we know that uh, when the plant undergo photosynthesis it will convert the glucose into starch and how and when we test the starch with uh, iodine it will turn blue black so now we know that they undergo photosynthesis because there's starch starch come from glucose glucose come from the process of photosynthesis so, so let's read the answer see whether the student get correct or not iodine solution is used to test the presence of starch so you get one mark glucose is one of the product oh glucose is one of the product this one the student will get one point I, I shouldn't write here later I calculate here some of it uh, I should write I should write here okay one point 
glucose is one of the product after uh, you, the student should say glucose is one of the product uh, we should say something like glucose will be converted to starch that is the keyword okay glucose is converted to starch after the photosynthesis so there will be one mark and then we test the starch we know there is a photosynthesis C graph show the effect of light intensity and temperature at the rate of photosynthesis 30 Celsius, 20 Celsius. Um, means what? Means that if you get more light, the reaction is faster. Okay, more light in uh, the intensity of light, then you get a faster rate of photosynthesis. Okay, so oh this this actually this graph show what lah? Let's read the question properly. Let's not miss the question. This graph show the light intensity and the temperature of the rate of photosynthesis. So not only they are talking about the they are talking about the light and the temperature. So they, so there are two data in the graph. I thought there's one. That's why I'm looking for it. Like why he want to draw like this? But because there are two data, because one correlation is the first correlation light and photosynthesis there's first correlation second correlation is temperature and photosynthesis so it's like two experiments you are testing the light and photosynthesis the second is temperature and photosynthesis um but but i don't know why they want to draw like that like, because there's a constant variable huh? because when you want to test light you we, we want to make sure that it cannot let me, if there is light then the temperature also increase i thought the constant variable is the temperature yeah no okay describe the pattern in the graph it shows that the increase in the light intensity and green temperature speed up the rate of reaction correct so this one you will get two point okay so this one the student will get one point only. okay one point um another point is uh, if the light intensity increase the temperature will increase okay so you get one point for this one okay Okay, carbon and oxygen are two elements in period 2 of the periodic table. Okay, so the first one is the proton number and the nuclear number is 12. Proton number is 8 and nuclear number is 16. Complete table 2.1 to show the number of neutron and proton and electron in an atom carbon. So, uh, let's do the easy part first carbon 6 proton and 8 proton so this will be correct number of electron 6 and 8 is the same number of neutron what do you mean by number of neutron number of neutron means nucleon minus proton 12 minus 6 you get 6 16 minus 8 you get 8 and this also you get correct very good so the student will get 2 point explain why carbon in group Okay, so this is group um, 4 IV and the break table oxygen is group 6. Use the idea of electron management. Oxygen has 6 electrons at the outer shell and carbon has 4 electrons at the outer shell. Yes, correct. Okay, whatever you, you say, it are valence electron or electron at the outer shell, you still get the same thing. C one carbon of two one carbon atom and two oxygen atom combined together to make a carbon dioxide is what ionic bond complete the dot and cross diagram to show all the shell electron in the molecule of carbon dioxide so okay so this one you the student will get correct lah huh? this one this one is correct this two two hey okay so this one is uh incorrect drawn by the student um, 
let's see whether the cell got any mark or not. Four bonding electron must not mark rest of the rest of the molecule. So this one the student didn't get the any mark uh, because the first mark is at here. This the first mark is here, the second mark is other molecule. Okay, so one mark, the, the, the second mark is here. So basically the student didn't get correct, okay, because it's wrong and this is wrong also. So it gets zero. The answer will be here, okay. Um the reason is each outer shell have eight. That's why that's why you see here one, two, three, four. So where's another two? Another two is here, okay? So you see. Yeah, so mostly um the in inside one the positive one will be Z, X la uh, X X X X and then the, the dot one will be the cross and dot la uh, uh. so you can see that X will be the valence electron for carbon and dot will be the valence electron for oxygen. So usually the the dot the dot is for the negative atom. Okay. The boiling point of carbon dioxide is blah blah blah. The identify the physical state of carbon dioxide is negative 77 Celsius. So this one it will be a gas form. So sometimes students also think that uh hey this one should be easy, uh, why the student get wrong? So what I suggest we what we do is uh, we write out first boiling point. Write out boiling point when we see this question. And then you write out the freezing point of or melting point, freezing point, and write out the Celsius. So um, let's let's see the Celsius. The boiling point is negative seventy eight point five. Negative seventy eight point five. Okay. So one thing you do after you drew this diagram, I will always do lah. What I do is I will do like this. This is gas, liquid, and solid. So let's put in the let's put in the number solid lah. Let's put in the number uh, negative seventy seven is here. Negative seventy seven. Okay, so negative, sorry, I said negative 77 will be at here. Correct or not? Because as you go up, as you go down, the temperature increase. Because it, it cannot be like, go up, right? So because the negative 77 show that the temperature increase. So it will be gas. If less than negative 78, it will be liquid or solid so from here we know that it's negative 77 yeah okay because as you go down uh, the temperature increase so this will be the gas so this actually is a bonus mark. but 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 uh, uh don't be surprised that many students will get this question wrong <laughs> just now also i do wrong um don't be surprised because uh, uh that, that is why always draw this thing out is the best always draw this thing out first then you do because uh many students get this question wrong. They they because well, they confuse. Not only they get confused, like actually I also confused that's why just now I write wrong. I thought because when they put negative uh, you thought that or oh, or oh, oh, lesser means up then you get wrong. Um okay. Increase the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere cause environmental problem. So there is the what effect? Global warming. Very good. So global warming you will get one point. And one more point is um, climate change, so atmosphere absorb heat and the radiation. Okay, this one does not only will get one point. Okay, they will cause global warming. Uh, and the second one will be the second point will be the effect of the global warming. For example, you can say that uh, flooding, polar ice melt. Or you can say that uh, maybe climate change, hurricane, sea level, sea water rise. Because hot ma, so the, the, the ice start to melt. 
and then because uh seawater rise will cause flood or hurricane. So what caused hurricane actually? So hurricane is caused by imbalance of uh temperature. So correct now one part is hot, one part is cold. So when they're hot and cold together, then it will cause hurricane. But of course we are living in Malaysia. If we don't have hurricane because we have a lot of mountain so the mountain eventually block the wind from gathering together because we are living in Malaysia lah. but if you are living in Texas or in a desert that um, the, the, the land is more uh, what they say uh, more horizon uh, flat lah, then you have hurricane and we live in Malaysia we don't have hurricane we don't have earthquake and uh, it's very good so um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and I see you next time. Bye bye.